the year 2025 marked a pivotal turning point for SpaceX's ambitious Starship program, a year that would be remembered for its relentless pace and groundbreaking achievements. Test flights from Starbase in South Texas became a regular spectacle, each one pushing the boundaries of rocket technology further than ever before. The world watched as SpaceX launched, landed, and learned at a pace never seen in the industry. The sight of super-heavy boosters lifting Starship skyward became almost routine, yet always awe-inspiring. Each thunderous launch drew crowds and inspired a new generation of space enthusiasts. Engineers rapidly iterated on every launch, learning from both successes and failures. Every setback was met with determination, fueling improvements and innovation at an unprecedented rate. The highlight of the year was the first successful soft landing of a super heavy booster, caught mid-air by the giant chopstick arms of the launch tower, a feat once thought impossible. This achievement proved the world's most powerful rocket could be reused, fundamentally changing the economics of spaceflight. The vision of rapid, cost-effective access to space was no longer just a dream. Starship reached orbit, performed complex maneuvers, and demonstrated reliable hot staging and re-entry control. These technical milestones showed the world that full reusability was within reach. These successes validated SpaceX's bold design and sent a clear message to NASA and the aerospace industry. Starship was no longer just a concept, but a working reality. The wealth of data gave NASA the confidence it needed to select Starship as the human landing system for Artemis, bringing humanity one step closer to returning to the moon. 2025 laid the foundation, proving that rapid launch and recovery were not only possible, but repeatable and reliable. It set the stage for the even greater challenges and historic milestones that awaited in the years ahead, as humanity reached further into the cosmos than ever before. Now, in 2026, SpaceX faces its ultimate test, a moment years in the making, with the eyes of the world upon them. The challenge is clear, proving Starship can not only launch, but reach the moon and operate flawlessly in deep space. The goal is an uncrewed lunar landing, a high-stakes dress rehearsal for Artemis III, which aims to return astronauts to the lunar surface for the first time in over 50 years. The stakes are higher than ever, with intense technical, political, and international pressure mounting as the deadline approaches. China's rapid progress in lunar exploration has set a clear deadline for NASA and its partners, fueling a new era of competition and urgency. A successful Starship landing would keep Artemis on track, reinforce U.S. leadership in space, and inspire a new generation of explorers. For SpaceX, everything rides on this mission, billions invested, the credibility of its Mars vision, and its reputation as a pioneer in spaceflight. The company's relationship with NASA and its future role in human space exploration hang in the balance. Failure could damage reputations, threaten political support for Artemis, and set back lunar ambitions for years. But success would cement Starship as the workhorse of a new era in space exploration, opening doors to Mars and beyond. For NASA, it's about validating commercial partnerships, maintaining momentum, and staying ahead in the global space race. For the public, it's the next giant leap toward returning humans to the moon, a moment that could inspire millions and reignite dreams of space. The uncrewed lunar landing is more than a mission. It's a symbol of progress, ambition, and the enduring human spirit to explore. The world will be watching every step as history is written on the lunar surface once again. The path to the moon in 2026 is a series of rapid, carefully planned steps. Starship V3 test flights will validate design upgrades and push for operational reliability. The goal make launches and landings routine, not just remarkable. A key milestone is deploying a real payload, like next-generation Starlink satellites, proving Starship's value as a cargo platform. Each successful deployment builds confidence for NASA and future customers. Perfecting the soft landing of the Starship upper stage is essential, as it faces extreme re-entry conditions. Repeated, flawless landings are non-negotiable for lunar ambitions. NASA will scrutinize every flight, demanding a track record of reliability, before green-lighting the lunar mission. The plan is aggressive, dozens of launches, each a vital test. Only by mastering this gauntlet can SpaceX prove Starship is ready for its most important mission yet. Success in 2026 hinges on key technology upgrades in Starship V3. The next-gen Raptor engines must deliver greater reliability and efficiency, with dozens firing in perfect unison. The heat shield, thousands of ceramic tiles, has been redesigned for durability, aiming to survive multiple 
re-entries. The chopstick landing system must catch returning vehicles with precision, while the lunar variant's new engines must land safely on the moon's surface. Life support systems for future crewed missions begin their validation, operating in space to gather critical data. The uncrewed lunar mission is the perfect testbed for these systems. Every upgrade must prove itself under real conditions. Only then can Starship be certified safe for astronauts. These advances are crucial for the leap from test flights to lunar landings. The biggest technical hurdle for 2026 is orbital refueling. This is the critical step that will determine whether humanity can truly become a multi-planetary species. It's not just about building a powerful rocket, it's about mastering a complex ballet in the vacuum of space. Starship can reach low Earth orbit nearly empty. To go to the moon, it needs a full tank. That means it must be refueled in space, far above the safety of Earth's surface, before it can even begin its journey to the lunar surface. A tanker Starship must rendezvous, dock, and transfer hundreds of tons of cryogenic propellant in orbit, a feat never before attempted at this scale. The logistics are daunting, requiring flawless coordination and timing between multiple spacecraft, the two massive vehicles must approach, align, and dock with extreme precision. Even the smallest miscalculation could result in a failed connection or worse, a catastrophic collision. Transferring super-chilled liquids in zero gravity requires careful thruster firings to settle the propellants for pumping. Engineers must account for the unpredictable behavior of fluids in microgravity, making this process even more challenging. Any mistake could jeopardize the mission. The stakes are incredibly high, and there is no room for error when so much is on the line. Mastering this process is revolutionary. It unlocks the moon Mars, and beyond. It's the gateway to a new era of exploration, enabling missions that were once only dreams. The uncrewed lunar mission will require several tanker flights to fully fuel the lander. Each flight must be perfectly executed with multiple dockings and transfers to ensure the lander has enough propellant for its journey. Orbital refueling isn't optional. It's essential for Artemis and all future deep space missions. Without it, reaching the moon Mars or any distant destination would remain out of reach. Solving this challenge is the key to making the lunar landing possible. It's the linchpin that will determine the success or failure of humanity's next giant leap. The world is watching to see if SpaceX can pull it off. If they succeed, it will mark a turning point in space exploration, inspiring generations to come. None of this is possible without a revolution on the ground at Starbase. SpaceX must ramp up production, building starships and super-heavy boosters on a true assembly line. New infrastructure, like a second launch tower and expanded factories, enables rapid overlapping launches and quick turnarounds. This approach allows for risk-taking and fast learning. If one vehicle fails, another is ready to fly. The iterative high-volume strategy is a stark contrast to traditional aerospace, where rockets are rare and precious. To send one starship to the moon, SpaceX may need up to 10 launches for landers and tankers. Achieving this demands airline-like reliability and frequency. The work at Starbase, building, testing, and launching at scale, is the unsung engine behind the lunar leap. The dream of lunar exploration is built as much on the factory floor as in the sky. Starbase is where the future of spaceflight is forged. A successful uncrewed starship landing on the moon in 2026 would be a global milestone. For NASA, it would validate the commercial partnership model and silence critics. It would prove that innovation and speed can outpace traditional government programs. In the space race with China, it would reaffirm U.S. leadership and shape the future of lunar exploration. America would set the rules for sustainable lunar activity and international cooperation. For SpaceX, it would be the ultimate proof of Elon Musk's vision, a fully reusable rocket opening the solar system. Starship would become the most capable launch vehicle ever, enabling lunar bases, Mars missions, and more. The 2026 landing is the gateway to this future. It's more than a test flight, it's a turning point in space history. Success will mark the dawn of a new lunar age, powered by a new kind of rocket.